one, download access the file go a o one grader, and we're going to work on construction today. Enable the content and then close the event list multi item. So I'm going to come over here to our event list, go over to the far right and close that table, and automatically open the navigation. So we're going to come over here to our navigation pane and you can see it's kind of handy. You can close the navigation pane so you have more room to work in access or reopen it with the chevrons. And then to the right of the events navigation is a drop down window. We can choose navigation to category or creation dates or events, but we want to go navigation to category and go back. I'm sorry, object type, and go back to our all access objects. This tells us that this database has two tables, one and two. We can close the tables. We have one query. We have three forms. We have five reports. And we have one macro. This is a pretty complex database, and we're going to work inside of it and discover what's coming up next in step two. Step two, in data sheet view, create a new table. So we want to go over here to create and we want to choose table. And now it defaults to data sheet view, but if we needed to change that, we could come over here to view and go into design view to change to make other changes and add formulas and help ask questions. But we're going to go ahead and stay in data sheet view and beginning in the second column of the table and using data type of short text, create a building project, site, contract fields in that order. In the fifth column, using the currency dial, create the budget amount. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and put that on a different line and let's go ahead and get with the second column, which is right here. And it's asking us to use the data type of short text. And we want to type in building project. Then um, I believe we still want short text. Site. Then I'm just tabbing over to the next one, choosing short text and picking contractor. And those are our fields. And in the fifth column, using the currency data, so when I tabbed over, it said which data do we want. We want currency, and then it clicks and lets me name that field. We want to call it budget amount. And that is the end of step two. Step three. Change the data type of the ID field to short text. So we're going to kind of click over here on the ID on our column field. And usually ID is a unique identifier, very much like each person in the United States of America has a unique social security number. An ID identifies or a primary identification of each item that's in your table or your database. So each one would have a unique ID. We're going to go ahead and change that to Let's go back to the view menu and click on design. When we come into design, we'll go ahead and name it table table 1. We can come in here to this design view and really quickly change our data type. It asks us to change the data type to short text. So we can come right here and you can see our field name is ID and our data type is short text. We don't need to save and access. It actually saves for us. We're going to go back to view and data sheet and it will ask us to save the table and then it did ask us I'm sorry I should have done it there 
it asks us to change the name to project ID. Let's go ahead and go back into this design view. I just find it easier to work here when we're making changes to our table, project ID, and um, normally you don't have spaces in a field name, but we do. Let's see how this proceeds. So that's the end of step three.